this clip, we look at hot cloning and refreshing pluggable databases. Both is a 12C release two new feature. On a high level, that is the initial state of affairs. I have two CDBs, two multi-tenant databases, CDB1 and CDB2, both are using local undo mode, which is a 12C release 2 new feature. And on the source CDB, that is CDB1, I have the pluggable database PDB1. I want to clone that into CDB2. Now, in order to prepare that cloning, I create a local user inside of that PDB1, that's the user cloner and on the destination cdb that's cdb2 i create a database link that connects to that user cloner inside of pdb1 then i clone pdb2 from pdb1 and um, this will be a hot clone, which means that PDB1 remains open read write all the time. That is new in earlier releases, in 12.1 that is. PDB1 had to be closed and then opened read only before the cloning could be done. That restriction is now removed in 12.2. Now, if PDB2 were an ordinary database, I could just open it read write and then I have a cloned PDB2. But in this case, I um, create PDB2 as a refreshable pluggable database, and therefore it must be opened read-only then. Now, after PDB2 has been created, changes um, are happening in PDB1. The green triangle that stands for Delta, a change that occurs in the source PDB. Now, in order to refresh the clone database, I need to close it. And then I can do an alter pluggable database refresh. That way I apply the delta that has been arrived in PDB1 also to PDB2. So let's see that with details now. I connect first to CDB1 on my demonstration system. As you see, it's 12.2 and there is only one PDB, except the seat, of course, that's PDB1. I'm using local undo here, that is a 12.2 new feature, which amongst others enables me to do hot cloning of PDB1. <coughs> now I connect into PDB1 and create the local user cloner, grant create session and create pluggable database to that user. Then inside of the destination CDB, I create a database link that points to that local user inside of PDB1. In this little terminal window, I will connect to PDB1 and do a transaction to demonstrate that I can do that while the cloning is ongoing. I delete one row from the sales table. This is now an open transaction. I did not do commit there. And in the large terminal window I'm doing the hot cloning.
The refresh mode clause is another 12.2 new feature here. Without it, it, that would just be an ordinary clone PDB. But this is a refreshable PDB now. I open it read-only, which is the only allowed way to open it. And now after the cloning is completed, I commit the open transaction in the source PDB. Now that sales table has one row less than the sales table in the cloned PDB. Connect to my demonstration user into the cloned PDB. And we see here one row more. So the change that has been ongoing in the source PDB is not yet applied, did not yet reach the clone PDB. But now I'm going to do that. I'm going to refresh that PDB too. Before I can do a refresh, that PDB must be closed. And then this new command here, alter pluggable database refresh, can be done from inside that PDB. Now I open read only again and connect to it to confirm that the change is now also available after the refresh in the cloned PDB. And you see it is.